my name is Christine Stewart from the Hong Kong Institute of Etiquette and this afternoon we will talk about dining etiquette, some things that you should do at the table, some things that you should not do, and some things to keep in mind. Dining etiquette is really important today, especially in a city like Hong Kong where it's fast-paced. People are eating out a lot and it's international. We're mixing with different cultures. In Hong Kong, I do teach English dining etiquette. That is the most globally recognized, that is the standard, and that is the most appropriate for Hong Kong. When you sit down at the table, your napkin will either be in the center of your place setting or over on the left. When you take your napkin, you just gently unfold it. I see a lot of people do this, <laughs> which is just not necessary. You unfold it, and you fold it back into two, like this. And when you put your napkin on your lap, the corners should be facing you, and the fold should be facing away from you. And this is because when you use your napkin, if you use the inside, like this, it will get all over your beautiful clothing. If you use this side, every time you use your napkin, people can see. You can see all the food that you've had on your mouth. So in fact, you use the inside of the outer fold, right there. General table manners, you use across the board. Three of the most important would be, firstly, your posture, sitting properly, not hunched over, no elbows on the table, sitting up straight, and for ladies this also means keeping your knees and your ankles together. Everyone needs to keep in mind that you imagine having a string attached to the top of your head, and there's a helium balloon pulling you upwards. So this opens your torso, lifts your head up, pushes your shoulders down, it elongates your body, sitting up straight. French dining etiquette, your hands are always up, always at the table. In English dining etiquette, you always keep your hands on your lap. It's very important to chew with your mouth closed. A lot of people think this is obvious. But during my courses and when I'm just out dining, I see a lot of people who don't do that. So, and also going along with that, swallow before you speak. Sometimes you're at a meal, you're having a great conversation and someone's just dying to blurt out that witty comment they have. Most importantly, always offer food and drink to others before you help yourself. So how to properly hold your cutlery? Fork goes in the left hand, knife in the right. Your tines always face down. In English dining etiquette, they should not be like this. Face down and you hold your cutlery together. You don't put your knife down and continue using your fork. If you're putting your cutlery down in the resting position to have a glass of water or to use your napkin, you put it in an inverted V. Looks like a pizza or a pie shape. When you're finished, you put your cutlery parallel. If your plate was a clock, it would be anywhere between 3.15 and 6.30. For the soup spoon, you always scoop away from yourself when taking soup. You remember that the ship sails out to sea and comes back again. When you're finished, your spoon never goes in your bowl. It always goes on the plate underneath. When you have a bread roll, you put it on your bread plate. And here you have your butter knife. This is not your bread knife, it's your butter knife because it's used for butter only. You don't use it to cut open the bread roll. When you take some butter, you take as much as you're going to use for the entire roll. There's no double dipping. 
So you take a little bit and you put it at the top of your plate. Now with your fingers, you break off a bite-sized piece of bread. You take a small piece and you put butter on that small piece and then you eat that small piece. People do ask, has traditional dining etiquette fallen out of favor? And in fact, table manners will never fall out of favor. But it is important to look at the situation, how you would apply certain techniques in different situations. What you would do during a formal nine course meal might not be applied at a Dai Pai Dong. So it's important to know the techniques, but also very important to know when to use them.